Hello everyone, welcome back to The Way That I See It. So this is my podcast and I'm also live on TikTok. And today we're going to be talking about manifesting money and I'm going to give you a little manifesting challenge to have a bit of fun with. Because I think what happens so much of the time when it comes to money is we get mega serious. Money can be such a heavy topic because, you know, whether it's the economy or we haven't got enough to pay the bills or maybe there's things we want in our future. But all we actually notice is what we don't have and the lack and the experiencing the lack that we're in. And so money can become quite a heavy subject. But the truth is abundance, the vibration of abundance and having more than enough and the sense of being in like an abundant energy is actually a really positive and very light vibration. And so when we're really heavy about money, it means that our experience with money is going to continue to be heavy, right? Because we always get what we're available for. If you listen to my podcast regularly, you know, I say this all the time, like you are getting what you are energetically, emotionally and conceptually available for. What we make normal to our nervous system is what we will get. And that is specific to money. So if you around money, are really negative, are really kind of like, it feels heavy. And even if you're like, I really want more money and you know you want it and the desire is there, but actually it's not back with belief. And you're saying how every third word, like how is the money gonna come? How are the bills gonna get paid? You know, how is this all gonna get paid for? Then you're actually in a lack energy. And so the primary goal of really sharing a manifesting challenge with you today is is fun, is to help you have a bit of fun with it and, and to try and move you out of this heavy energy when it comes to money and move you into this lighter more vibrant kind of just like lifting vibration because it's a game and I think a lot of us could really and me included right if we could make more of life a bit more fun and a bit more of a game then truthfully we would probably get more of what it is that we're seeking because we'd be less heavy about it we'd be more open to receiving we'd be energetically more open conceptually wouldn't be so locked down and so rigid and it would just open us up to possibilities and I think you know so on a scientific level you get what you focus on right your reticular activating system which is kind of like the focus filter in your mind is always going to give you what you are looking for and so when we're looking for heavy when we're looking for dark when we're looking for how when we're looking for stress we will continue to find it but at the same time if abundance if joy if love if like free-flowing money doesn't feel safe to our nervous system then we're also not going to find that because we're never going to receive something and keep something and hold something and have something that doesn't feel safe for us because our nervous system will just say a big fat no we'll reject things, we'll procrastinate, we'll judge, we'll worry, we'll ruminate. They are all signs that it's not something that you're ready for. And guys, this is why I talk about so extensively why we must become someone different, why it's all about becoming a new version of ourselves. If we want a different financial experience in life, we have to become a different person with money. We have to change our identity. We have to change how we think. But we also primarily have to change how we feel and change how our nervous system is programmed and what feels safe to our nervous system. So when we're talking about manifesting money, and I'm going to give you a little challenge, so a little challenge for you to do for the next week, and I want to hear your results, so make sure to DM me on Instagram, at Lucy Superfox, you can comment on this video if you like any of my videos on TikTok, and let me know you did my challenge, at Lucy Superfox, and just let me know how the challenge went for you. So this is, let me talk you through really quickly the five steps of manifestation that I teach inside the money course, and I share with you three, like, amazing on top of that bonus rules in my free masterclass. So if you haven't as yet got my free money masterclass, go to lucysuperfox.com forward slash money masterclass. The masterclass is totally free. If you then want to do the money course, all the links are in there. If you feel called, amazing. If you don't, whatever, you've still got the free masterclass. So let me talk you through the five steps of manifestation and what each of those looks like really quickly. Because I know on my podcast, I've talked about this extensively. I know if you listen to that podcast, the way I see it, for those on TikTok, the podcast is called The Way I See It. You can find all the links in my Instagram bio. But if you listen to that podcast thoroughly, you'll know I talk about these five steps. But there is never enough. You can never hear something enough if you're not actually manifesting it or you're not actually embodying it. So step one is get really, really clear on what you want. Now, a lot of people are clear that they want more money. They're like, of course I want more money. Why would I not want more money? But a lot of people also have that desire, that that feeling of money laced with a lot of shame, a lot of fear, a lot of lack, a lot of negativity. And it's because either we feel like we should want more money, we desperately need more money, or actually we think it would be a good idea or a nice thing to do. And none of those things are really the energy of desire. And they're also not a very clear intention. So the first step around getting clear about what you want is not just 
getting clear as in like that would be nice as in get clear like what is the clear intention that you have around your financial experience and you know for this challenge we're going to pick a certain amount for a certain time period but really I think the focus here is to be in the like what is the thing you actually want around money what is the thing like your financial experience if you could design a financial life experience right now and be honest with yourself what would it look like you know you'll flip your brain and go oh I'll be a millionaire with the lottery actually you probably wouldn't it would probably be there's an extra thousand pounds a month or the credit card's paid off or there's holidays three times a year that are fully covered you know so what is the financial experience that you would want to design? Like, what's your ideal financial life experience? Okay, these are the five steps. And then I'll talk you through the manifestation challenge. Step two is do the work to believe you can have it. So doing the work to believe you can have it isn't just writing down affirmations. Like doing the work to believe you can have it is changing how you think. It's changing how you feel. And it's changing the your programming or the reactivity of your nervous system to that experience. So Let's say right now you've been earning the same amount of money for a long period of time. Maybe there's been debt. Maybe there's been credit cards. Maybe there's been never enough. Like that's what feels normal to you. That will feel normal to your nervous system. Much as you don't like it, that will feel normal to your nervous system. So your only goal is to normalize the financial experience that you do want to your nervous system. And that happens through changing your mindset. So changing the way that you think changing the way that you feel by rewriting those beliefs and stories, releasing some of the past and by changing and regulating the nervous system. And I talk about this a lot, guys, in my free masterclass, lucysuperfox.com forward slash money masterclass. So in that free masterclass, you're going to get all that information about what that actually means in detail. But what a lot of people believe is that all they need to do is recite money affirmations and that that's going to change their entire experience. What it will do over time is change what you filter for. It will change what you look for. It will not change your whole life because you are getting what you are energetically available for. <laughs> the comments on TikTok, guys, people are such weirdos. Um, you are getting what you are energetically available for. You are getting what you're mentally available for. You are getting what you believe is normal. So when you re rewire what is normal to you financially, you will change everything, right? So step number three is make space. So a good example of making space, and I just talked about this on Instagram, a good example of making space is if you wanted a designer wardrobe, let's say that was a goal that you had, then if you had designer wardrobe, actually, sorry, if you want to design a wardrobe, but you had a wardrobe full of stuff from like shine or some crap from, you know, that costs three pounds for a t-shirt, or, you know, you know that it's not the best quality clothing, you know, it's not made in the best way, then there's a disconnect between the person or the financial experience that you want and the life you're currently living. And that's probably why you want it, right? Because it's different, but you cannot continue to relive the same experience and expect the new experience to come when you're still being this person. So a big part of that might be clearing out the wardrobe, might be clearing out the things that make you feel not abundant, that clearing out the things that you know actually weren't very good quality. That would be a good example of making space, right? Another example of making space I always use is if you are a business owner, you want maybe you're a hairdresser or a beautician or a trainer or someone like me who's a coach, you might want more clients. So actually what you would do is go out and proactively look at your diary and book in slots for when those clients are going to work. When is the client work going to happen? Or when am I going to work on that project? Or when am I going to get that new Etsy delivery out? Like whatever your business is or your goal is, you would look at your life and diary and you would make physical room for the new thing, right? Step number four is take inspired action. So what inspired action means is not just blind action, not just hustle for the sake of hustle, not just ticking boxes for the sake of ticking boxes, but actually what inspired action is, is being in the energy of the thing that you want, thinking and feeling and being as if it's already happened and then trusting your intuition to guide you to the next thing. Now, what I say all the time is you cannot trust your intuition when you're in survival mode. So if right now you are in worrying, rumination, judgment, stress, fear, you're always on edge, that is an intuition driving the show, that's anxiety. And so what we have to then do is take a step back and do the work on the nervous system, do the work on feeling safe in who you are right now, because anything beyond where you are right now is going to feel even more unsafe. So this is where you need to do the work on the nervous system. And if you don't, you know, if you haven't listened back to all my podcast episodes, I talk about this for free, extensively in detail at the way I see it with Lucy Superfox on all good podcast platforms. So when I talk about this in the masterclass as well, lucysuperfox.com forward slash money masterclass, because if one more person asks me for the link, I'm like, I've said it 5,000 times. So we're deciding what we want. We're doing the work to believe we can have it. We're making space. We're taking inspired action. And then step five is we trust the process. And the only reason that people find it hard to trust the process, right, 
is because they're not one of the steps one to four isn't there. Because if you knew you really wanted something and you totally believed you could have it and you making space in it, that, so you were acting as if there was energy in your life like it had already happened and you were feeling really guided and taking inspired action, you wouldn't be questioning whether or not it was going to happen. You would just be trusting it was going to happen. So that's the longer process of manif- like actually changing, becoming a vibrational match for what we want, changing what we're available for. All those steps are in... All of those steps are basically the steps to changing your entire financial experience, which I teach inside the masterclass and inside the money course. You can get all that for free, lucesuperfox.com forward slash money masterclass. So the manifestation challenge that I want to share with you today, this is the manifestation challenge I'm going to share with you today, is I want you to do step number one. I want you to decide what you want. So we're going to do this for a week. So you're only going to have a time window of a week to manifest this thing. So first of all, you're going to pick an amount of money, or or it might be for you if you're, like I said, in a business, it might be a number of clients, or it might be a program you want to sell, or it might be a product you want to sell. But I would focus on the amount of money because rather than thinking about the number of clients, we need to be open to how we receive because money can come from all sorts of things and all sorts of places at all sorts of times. I'm going to tell you a couple of stories in a minute just to re kind of like show you how how powerful and how true that is. So we need to pick an amount of money that feels like, so it feels like, yeah, I can achieve that in a week. So your nervous system doesn't freak out. It feels like, yeah, I could do that. That you think you're like, oh yeah, there's a million ways that could happen. So you can get your head behind it. I want you to pick that amount of money that you want to manifest in the next week. So if you want to drop some comments on TikTok about how much money you want to manifest the next week, go be my guest. But I want you to think about what is the amount of money that if you could manifest it in a week would feel normal, safe, but also a step in the direction of where you want to go. So it's not what you're already expecting. So there's a difference between expected money and non-expected money. So let's say in the next week you want a thousand pounds. If you already know you're going to get paid £300 from a client or, you know, there's a bill coming in, you know, then that's expected money. So you would take your £1,000 goal, you would minus your 300 and what you're looking to manifest, receive or create from, from the unknown or from new is £700, right? Then your job is, so we know what we want, is again, do I believe I can have that? Do I believe that's possible? Does that feel safe? When you're like, yes, this is the number, then I want you to make space for it. So I want you to think, right, How and where in my life am I being closed off to money? Where in my life am I being in lack? Where in my life am I being low vibe? Where in my life am I not being a person who could receive 700 pounds from something and make some tweaks immediately? Then the key is when the nudges come, the inspiration comes, you move, right? You take the action. If it says message this person, fucking do it. If it says post on TikTok or post on Instagram or Facebook or whatever you use, and it says post about this, just do it. Don't question yourself because when we question ourselves, that's when we move back into trusting the anxiety over trusting our intuition, right? And then I want you to focus on being in the energy as if it already happened. So if it had already happened, if you'd already manifested that amount of money one week today, how would you feel? What would you know? What would you be experiencing in your body? And the main thing is, how would you be feeling? And if you said words like excited, buzzing, fun, like eek, like surprise, shock, then that's the energy, that kind of feeling in your body that you need to stay in for the next week. And guys, it's a week. That's it. One week to do this, one week to manifest it. Because what you will see after when you create this, because I promise you, you will. And if you don't, I can absolutely show you. And maybe in next week's podcast, I'll talk about if it didn't happen for you why it didn't happen and how to change it. But what I know to be true is that when we follow all those five steps and we are a clear energetic match, we're lined up mentally, emotionally, energetically, we stay in the energy of, we trust our intuition, it will come. Now, the truth is, let's say it come doesn't come on Monday next week. You're like, oh, it didn't come by April 1st at the time of recording this. But what if it came by April 2nd? Would you be disappointed? Because sometimes the universe needs time to rearrange. Sometimes it might be that if you want to attract five more clients to create that money, they might need to manifest the money to be able to pay you, right? But the key is to be in the energy of the thing that you want mentally, emotionally, and energetically for the next week. So I would love to hear your money manifesting win. So make sure to either comment on one of my posts, drop me a DM on Instagram, 
Let me know how your manifesting challenge went. I will recap in the show notes for the podcast what the manifesting challenge is, how to follow it, what the steps are. So if, you, if you're if you on my TikTok, make sure to go over to the podcast the way I see it with Lucy Superfox on any of the podcast platforms that you listen and you will find it in the show notes as of Monday, the 25th of March. So I hope this resonated. I hope it was fun. I hope you loved it. I loved hanging out with you and I will see you on the next episode.